Previously on McFly Angler, we went out and kayak fished a place called Shamrock Cove, but we didn't catch anything of substantial size. Hey guys, so the last couple days have been really tough and I haven't really caught anything good. Uh, I talked to the guys down at Roy's uh, about where to go and they recommended the jetties in Port A. So I'm going to go try it. I didn't think there would be anything good here, uh, but they said they're catching redfish, uh, bull reds, uh, some sea trout, uh, but possibly at the very end some tarpon and uh, jacks, so that would be a blast. I don't think my eight weight is gonna be good enough for that, but might as well give it a try. I mean, this is my last day to fish. I'm gonna get out there, start fishing. This was sort of a Hail Mary move in a way. Anything I catch will probably be a pretty good sized fish. However, I knew the likelihood of catching would be slim with a fly rod. The wind was really bad though, and it was difficult to cast. Luckily, I had this new redfish line made by Rio, and it did seem to cut through the wind pretty well. Check out this beautiful butterfly trying to just fly in the wind. Poor thing. I did start getting a few bites, but I wasn't able to hook them, so I moved up a bit past the waves to see if there were larger fish a bit deeper. It turns out that the fish that were biting were these small needle nose fish. I was hoping for sea trout. Oh well. This moss was really slippery, so I had to be careful and the waves were coming up over the rocks and getting me wet. Then I realized my camera was in wave's reach, so I had to quickly go and move it before the next wave came. It was so windy that my camera kept shaking and getting blurry. Another issue I had was that my line kept getting caught in the rocks. I really needed to have a stripping basket for here. Also, I had to check behind me for people frequently walking up and down the jetty. The wind was to my back on this side of the jetty, so it wasn't too difficult to cast. However, when I switched to the other side of the jetty, it got really difficult to cast, and I had to double haul really hard to get the fly out at all. Also, I had to cast downward, because the fly would fly back at me if I didn't. So I quickly left casting that side and went back to the other. I fished many spots along the way as I kept getting closer to the end of the jetty. This is a long jetty, which stretches out about a quarter mile or so out to the ocean. And my line got stuck once again on the rocks, but this time it was really bad. The waves ended up shooting the line under the rock and it looped up under and there was no getting it out. I didn't want to just pull really hard and have the rock shred my line either.
so I tried just about everything to get it loose. But finally a wave came and knocked it loose. How lucky was that? But while I was messing with the line, my fly sunk to the bottom and got stuck as well. Okay, so now for a new fly. By the way guys, I really am liking these new shirts I am selling now. As you can see, I have the hood up and the neck gaiter on. It is a hot and sunny day today, but I am not getting burnt at all. I do have a link in the description section of this video if you want to purchase some. So I decided I would try the other side again. But check out the wind and these waves. And the rocks were really slippery from being wet, but I gave it a go anyway. I kept getting the waves coming up and over and splashing me, and it was making me nervous that they would knock me off the jetty, so I stopped fishing here again. Then I got a call from Johnny that he was heading out. He had to watch his kid in the morning, and ended up meeting up with me around 3 o'clock. I was really tired of casting my fly rod into the wind all day long, so I ended up borrowing his bait caster for a little bit. Just like I was getting all day long kept getting those little needle fish biting our lures. Also, all day long I kept seeing these sea turtles. They were everywhere. How cool. Well, we kept trying until about 5 o'clock and then started heading back in. We did try a few spots along the way though. I had to head back to San Antonio to pick up my wife, and then head back to my house in Colorado the next day. I was really frustrated that I didn't catch any good fish the entire trip. This is not like the Gulf, I usually catch them non-stop. However, the conditions just were not right, and most of the fish had gone really deep. At least I had a great time hanging out with my buddy Johnny, one of my longest and closest friends. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section, and don't forget to check the description section for more info about this trip. I would like to give a special thanks to those of you who have started supporting me. Your donations are what keep this channel alive. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.